if you're creating content for social media and you need to put a text overlay, but it's not showing up well on the photo or video you're creating, you actually need to lower the exposure of the photo or the video that you've created so that the text pops. Let me show you how to do this directly inside of your phone. I'm working on an iPhone, but these practices should translate to most phones. You're going to have some way of editing and these same buttons are going to apply. So just pay attention to your brand of phone and use these buttons. Look for those names, look for those titles and do the same types of things. So once you have your photo or your video, and this works for both things, you're going to click on it and you're going to click whatever version of edit you are going to be using from there. Then we're just going to darken this down. There's a couple different ways you can do this. It sounds like it should be as easy as sliding a button, but there's some nuance to it as well. So you are going to go over to your exposure. And the first thing you're going to do is actually darken that down. So you're going to pull this pretty far down. You want it to actually be like a translucent black screen on top of this. So you can kind of see how my exposure is all the way down on negative 100. You can do whatever works best for you so you can still see through it. This right here, just as it is, will make text pop really well, but we can tweak it a little bit. So then you have other options. If you are doing a photo, you can play with your brilliance. If you're on an iPhone, that's something we're going to skip over for now. You have highlights. So highlights are actually going to take all of the light colored parts of your image and show shift it so it's brighter or darker. Light colors might be on, on this image right here, the wall, my skin. Um, on this image that I'm using, it's going to be the building, it's going to be the ground, it's going to be my skin, but it's not going to be my outfit. And so you can see as I slide it, it's going to shift it so it's brighter or it's darker. Depending on what you need, you can shift it either way. Shadows are also going to work to your benefit. You can either brighten those or you can darken them down. Now you probably don't want to go too far on the shadow side when you are darkening these things down because that's going to mute your image or your video a little bit. So that's one you want to touch on, but don't go too heavy on that. Then if you need to, you can bump up the contrast because you've muted it. You may need a little bit more contrast. You may actually need a little bit less contrast. So you're going to slide either way to see what works best for your image. Each image will be different. I know some people love to go on YouTube channels and on my TikTok page and say the exact things that I used. You don't want to follow the exact recipe because each image is lit differently and it's going to be specific to the image or the video file that you are working with. So you're going to play with your contrast if that's something that you are going to need, depending on if you want to make it a little more muted or a little more bold. And then you can go over to brightness if you need to make it pop just a little bit because again, you've muted it. So now you probably need to make it pop just a touch. You can play with your black point. You can see how that is going to make it a matte finish. If I take it down into the negative, it makes it a matte finish. It takes away some of that blackness or I can bump it up so that it's a little more bold and a little more contrasty. From there, you can play with your vibrance. You can play with saturation, your warmth, your tint, sharpness, which I don't recommend, but you can do things like that. And there are some others as well, but it's not going to work to your favor. So your goal here, is to darken down the image. You are muting what people are seeing, but can still see through it. From there, you're going to be able to put a white based text over it. And that's going to work incredibly well for you. I recommend doing this inside of your phone instead of inside of Instagram or TikTok or wherever it happens to be, because you have more control than you have this image. Now, if you're worried about being destructive, don't forget you can revert any image or video file, but if you're worried about it, hit the duplicate button, go up to those three little dots and you're going to go down to duplicate. And it is going to then allow you to create a duplicate or a little clone of your photo or your video files so that you can work on that one without being destructive to the original. So you've got lots of options there. You can then import it into whichever social platform you were trying to put it out on and you are able to add your text from there or you can add your text inside of your phone, inside of other apps, whatever it is that works best for you. But you're going to want to make sure that you are muting this and darkening this down inside of your phone because it gives you better control. Doing it inside of the apps with like a filter or something does not give you near the controls that you have inside of your phone. Now, if you've got questions on how to edit things on your phone, go ahead and drop those down below. We are happy to help you get even clearer on how you can save time and effort creating your social content so that you can create luxury time in your business because your business is working on your behalf while you are not hands on every minute of every day. So you can live your best life while also living out your entrepreneur dreams and making this your most profitable year ever. So follow along playlists are linked down below for easy content creation tips to help you level up so that this can be your most profitable year with less time and less stress involvement. We'll see you in the upcoming videos.